make my earthquake. Oh, make my earthquake. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, um, I don't know if you can notice, but I'm in a different spot. I am in my like living we call it a zen zone because this is where we do a lot of like our yoga and my mom does yoga in here sometimes and we read in here and it's just like a quiet space um but we've got like fun little pillows back there it's not we've got a couple things we need to like put away still because we have been busy and we've moved in here like not even a couple months ago or something like that but it's pretty cute we got like this thing this thing that my mom and sister made and it's pretty cute we like it but the lighting is a little bit better in here because I do not have a ring light yet, so I'm filming in here instead. And my hair be bonkers, you know? Why does my hair look like that? Okay, whatever. Anyways, so for today's video, if you saw by the title, basically I'm going to be telling you 10 jobs that you can do without getting an actual job. So... Well, I don't kind of... So I don't know what I did the title. The title was like 10 ways or like 10 ways to earn money without getting a without getting a job but i'm going to point out now that all of these like things you can do are technically are jobs but they're not jobs in which you have to go and have like a manager and have like set dates these are like things that you can do that aren't like pretty set in stone type things so yeah let's just get right into the video Okay, so first one is babysitting. Um, I do babysit a lot, but usually it's people. It's like kids that I know and personally, like they're like family members or friends of my family. But honestly though, you could make, f I wanted to do this for a long time, but I just never did it. But you can put flyers around with like your, like a contact, like number, it could be a phone number, an email or something. Like you can make a Gmail or just have like a little, something so someone can contact you and about babysitting so that is something you could do to put around another thing that also could involve flyers is you could do dog walking or dog sitting and with that is they have a lot there are a lot of websites out that you could sign up with where they would f put your like name and like your info on a website and then people could go and be like i want I need a dog sitter and you like in this area and you could be like a dog sitter for like people while people are on vacations or a dog walker you could walk dogs in the neighborhood that kind of thing super cute we love it don't know what is up with this hair it's making me mad is that better okay i'm sorry i was trying a new hairstyle today and like anyway that's not important okay okay um but yeah, dog sitting is really fun. I have a dog, so I could always walk both my dogs together. All dogs together. Why do I look like I'm gonna cry? I'm sorry, I look red. Um, third one, third one, third one, number three. Um, I'm sorry, I'm looking down my laptop's on the floor because I forget. <laughs> okay, so third one is chores. Chores that you could do during like the week so you could do like dishes taking out the garbage if you have a cat you could change out the litter box personally i do the dishes and my sister changes out the litter does the litter box and we get a little money for that i usually do get a little money for the dishes i don't know if my sister gets money for the litter box but that's just because i dishes are more mature and the cat however is more of like a her thing like a, she takes care of the cat you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I do earn money for like doing stuff such as like washing the dishes. I, yeah, there's some stuff my family, it depends on your family too, because I know my mom, some of it is like, you just have to do it. Like what or else are you gonna do? Like you have to, it's like required. But then like dishes, it's like, she doesn't have time. So she pays me to do it. So yeah, you could do chores. You could plan, have, talk to your parents and you could be like, this is what, I could do around the house with throughout the week. I'll do this whenever it needs to get done and then have like a, a, a set amount of money that you get at the end of each week. So you have like a weekly type allowance, but you still are earning it. So yeah. Okay. Next is number four is online surveys. And 
I have always been a little bit like nervous about that, but I have kind that's there are a lot of survey websites that you could do survey surveys about certain things and then earn money for it. So and like I don't know. I'm a little nervous about that kind of thing. But if you're into it and you go for it, I guess go for it. But just be careful about not giving out your personal information, such as, like, credit card info. Like, do not give them your credit card info. Like, that, that – what? Do not do that. Or, like, where you live. Or try not to give a lot of personal information because I have signed up for one before. And uh, when I signed up, they asked a bunch of personal information about – my age and what grade I was in and if I was a female or male. But when it comes to surveys, they don't shouldn't need that kind of information. Personally, in my opinion, I don't think they really need to know whether I'm female or male. I feel like I should just be able to be like, okay, these are the things I can answer and then they give you surveys on it. And you, like, I don't know, it just, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, next is house it. You could house it. You could watch, like, when you house it, you would watch. You could watch dogs. Just watch the house, like water plants, that kind of thing. With house sitting, it's usually not really about the house. Obviously, it's about like the animals and or plants that they have in their house, and that you need to water them for a certain amount of time. But yeah. Anyways, yeah. So basically, house sitting. I've never actually done that before, but. Honestly, though, if I'm down, like, if you need a house sitter, I'm down. Like, I'll babysit your house. Like. Okay, so next is a yard sale or lemonade sale. But honestly, though, you could just do, like, all the above. I know personally you probably might get more. Mm, actually, it doesn't matter, actually. But you could sell old things they don't want to get, have, like, they want to get rid of. And along with the whole, like, selling things that you don't want to get rid of, um, I guess this could be its own category, but I'm not going to change the name of this video, so. Um, I personally, what I have done when it comes to selling things, because I don't really have the time to, like, go sit outside for hours waiting for someone to come buy my stuff. So, personally, I have a lot of clothes, and if they are not kid sizes, if they're, like, older, like, teens and, like, women's sizes, you can take them to places such as Hibs Exchange, and then there's one other place that I'll put right here that I cannot remember. Um, but they will take your clothes, and you can get money, money. You can get money for them, or you can get store credit and buy more clothes, which is I love. I got like twenty something bucks between me and my sister, but also have to remember that they do have a lot of those stores do have like only will take certain clothes, so they only will take st certain clothes that are like certain brands like high-end brands kind of like they'll take like forever 21 urban outfitters american eagle like all the brands that you'd find at like a mall and not just like cheap stuff you know they want like good high quality stuff and they don't want any stains rips that kind of thing they want to take that and so if they don't take that you can always just take it to the di so what i'm doing i have a giant bag of clothes that i still need to take i'm gonna take it there i'm gonna see if any if they'll take any of it if they do I would just take cash for it and hold on, you know, save up my money. And then whatever's left, I'm just going to take the DI. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So I think that's honestly for like when you don't have enough time to do a lot of things. I've been doing that. I'm going to do that because just the new school year and I'm getting rid of a lot of clothes that I don't wear anymore. And yeah, so I've been reinventing myself and just got to get rid of a lot of these old clothes of mine. So that's what I've been doing. Um, also, along with the lemonade sale, you could do a bake sale, lemonade sale. You could sell lemonade and sell, like, brownies or cookies or literally, like, almost anything you could sell. Um, if you're another on to that, but it's kind of, I put it in a different category. But if you're crafty, you could sell bracelets. That could be, you could do it as, like, a sale in front of your house. But you could also sell bracelets on your Instagram stories. I've done i tried to do that before, like I had like a, a long time ago, I had like a sale account. I would sell my old clothes there. I, yeah, so you can sell your like things on your Instagram stories. Personally, I also think that's another thing that you could do that's a lot easier to do because just, I don't, me, I'm lazy. I'm lazy 
and I don't want to leave my house. So it just feels a lot easier for me because I don't have to like sit in the sun for hours trying to sell things or go out and try to like do things. I can just sell things from home and when, especially when you follow like on Instagram, people from your school can buy them and you can just bring them to them right to school. I've done that before. People that from my sister's school have bought my things before. I just have her bring them over to them and then she brings me back the money and it's easy trade. Number eight, you could, these are kind of seasonal things. So like summer and like spring, you could mow the lawn for people, just maybe put out flyers, that kind of thing. Some people, you can put out flyers and be like, I'm mowing the lawn for people in the neighborhood and that kind of thing, you could do that. So basically I, yeah, you could mow the lawn, you could set up flyers, but I'm gonna mow the lawn for some people. Let me know if you want me to mow your lawn, that kind of thing. Um, along with all seasonal, like the seasonal category in fall and stuff, you could rake and like, you could rake leaves and you could rake leaves for people. I don't know. You could rake people's leaves for them, which is super nice. Always could enjoy that. So another one is seasonal winter. You could you could shovel people's driveways honestly that's the one where i'm like you know how much money you could get from doing that a lot of money like you know how much, it's so it's so hard like it's a struggle like my dad used to pay me my dad used to pay me to do it and so you could even do that at your house at your own house too like ask your parents to pay you for doing it for them um like yeah, so with any of these things, actually, you could have, like, the seasonal stuff, you could have your neighbors, do, sorry, it's a stick. You could have your neighbors do it, have your neighbors pay you for it, or even your own family could pay you for it, um, because it just seems nice and easy, especially when you have to only do it in your house, and you're doing it out of your house. I actually did the, shovel the driveway at my dad's house, and I mowed the lawn. Okay, so, next is, um, number nine. Washing your car or washing bikes. I saw that like you could actually wash bikes for money too. But um, car washes, you could do a car wash. You could just put up flyers too and be like, I'm washing cars this summer. Like if anyone wants me to wash their car, let me know. That kind of thing. You could put them on a couple houses. Be like, do you want me to wash your car? That kind of thing. Definitely get some people. I know my car, my car going to be dirty when I get a license. So come wash my car for me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, last but not least is you could tutor younger kids that are obviously younger than you and that have learned things that you've already learned, obviously. But you could tutor younger kids, especially when like uh, you're a high schooler. Um, you could tutor people that are in junior high and or elementary school. Like I could tutor people from my sister's school. I could do that kind of thing, I guess. Um, and the last, last but not least, I'm going to talk about a couple of something, about something. So just a little quick disclaimer about all these things. Please do not go out and do something even if you're not qualified for it. If you're younger and you're like my sister's age, you could do like some of these things like bake sales and like selling things and that kind of thing. Um, you could do the shoveling. Like if you're my sister's age, she's 12, by the way, you could do a lot of these things things tutoring probably not because unless you're tutoring tutoring like a third grader um but just be wary about your age and stuff like that like if you are way younger than one well, younger than my sister like seven or that kind of thing do not go out and do these things unless you are like good with it like yard sales bake sale or like bake sales lemonade sales cutest thing ever i've done it when i was really young go for it i'm all for it i'm all for it like if i saw you're doing a lemonade show, I swoop over and get some lemonade. And then if I found out you were watching my video, I'd be like, love you guys, you're great, so great. Um, but yeah, I just don't want any of you guys trying to do something that you're not qualified for or that you just won't get enough money that you won't be able to get as much money with for and for them. But also to be fair, if you are younger, like if you're seven or like, if you're, okay, if you're nine, like eight, nine, maybe seven, but like set eight, nine, ten, go for, that's when I feel like it's best. You could start earning money. 
but before like when you're seven and like six and stuff i'm like your parents got you boo you too young to start doing that but honestly though i'm all for it if you guys don't start doing lemonade sales i'm down but also just yeah i don't know what i'm saying but just be wary about your age don't do something you're not qualified for but if you can do it go for it because earning money is so great and honestly just such a good skill to know how to like earn money for yourself and yeah as soon as i turn 16 i'm getting a job and i'm gonna just work on my earning money skills life skills you know what i'm saying so yeah i guess that's it for this youtube video um i hope you guys liked it please give it a thumbs up if you like these type of videos just like a how-to videos i guess um go ahead and subscribe i've got a lot of fun videos planned and um also comment down below what you think about this location um i want to try to make my room more eligible for filming i am going to work on getting a ring light so i can film better but for the time being comment if you like this location like if the lighting is better i feel like it's better but if do you like this location if the background's all right just comment down below i want your opinions also go follow me on instagram it'll be at underscore tylee coats underscore there's also a link in the description my dote is linked in the description my twitter is linked in the description my vlog channel is linked in the description and trust me guys i'm gonna have a lot of fun vlogs coming up this november for my sweet 16 and all that fun jazz my birthday vlog I have a concert and so yeah i would go and subscribe to that channel too so and definitely subscribe to this channel because i've got a lot of fun stuff planning with the new school year and fun back to like back to school not really back to school videos but like videos that involve school so definitely subscribe and hope you have a good day have a good night have a good evening or just whenever you're watching this bye I'm just